what do I know about human psychology? One thing above all, I know that people make assumptions. Hey, if I walk on stage with a cardboard box and I toss it on stage and it skids over to the side of the stage, I want people to believe it's empty. It may be empty or it may have something concealed in it, but if it looks like an empty box as it spins across the stage, I've won the battle. If I say, here's an empty box, wrong. They'll say, oh, I don't know about that. This guy's a magician. He's setting out to fool me. But if I handle it like an empty box and just drop it in place or on a chair and don't say much about it and then go ahead and use it, they make the assumption that it is empty. Oh, you make assumptions too. I don't want to see any people saying, oh, not me. <laughs> no way. I don't make any assumptions. Of course you do. You came in here and sat down in these chairs. Did you test them first? No. <laughs> No, I don't, didn't see anybody feeling it and springing out and asking, would you sit in this to test it for me? No. I didn't see anything like that. You assume that these chairs will handle your weight and they won't fall over, collapse, or break. That's true. Now, I travel all over the world, as you know. I travel to every corner of the world and every city and every culture. And we see traffic lights there. Oh, yeah, red, amber, green. It's an internationally agreed upon set of rules. And I can tell you from experience did you know that red is always on top? Just threw that in, just for a little education here. Red means stop, green means go, and of course, yellow means go like hell. <laughs> That's universal, all over the world. I can assure you that it applies all over the world. And you stand on a street corner, whether you're in the city you live in, or in a strange city, and you look up at the traffic light, and you see it go to green, and you assume from past experience and from your expectations due to your education and your knowledge of the subject that you can step off the pavement and cross the street in relative safety without getting run flat, except in New York City, of course, there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> you make that assumption, but you make another assumption along the way. You don't test the road first by putting your foot on it to see whether it's firm. It may be strawberry jello covered with a thin layer of macadam. You don't know. It's not likely, but you don't know you assume that you can walk on that pavement. I allowed you to assume a few things when you walked in here today. I fooled you on both of them. Yeah. I allowed you to make assumptions from your observations. I was introduced from this podium. This microphone was used, but uh, this microphone is, is not functioning. <laughs> and I can't see you. I don't know what you look like because I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> I am wearing frames. You assumed automatically that there were lenses in those frames. Why not? Why would anyone wear simple frames? Not very likely. Someplace in here, I have the real glasses. There we are. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm seeing you for the first time. Folks, we all make assumptions. If we don't, we become catatonic. But we've got to be very careful about what assumptions we make and don't make. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randy.org.